Hey everyone, I'm Mind, and today I'm going to be showing you guys every single new minifigure in the July 2021 LEGO Monkey Kid sets. I've already done reviews of all these sets which you can check out on the channel, but I know some people are more interested in minifigures than full sets, so if you're just interested in seeing each of the new minifigures, I'm going to be going over them here. This is only the second time I've done a video like this, the first was with the Master of the Mountain sets like over a year ago, and in that video I covered every minifigure, while in this video I'm only going to be covering new minifigures. So let me know in the comments which of those two formats you prefer, do you prefer to see every single minifigure in the sets, or do you want to just see the new minifigures like I'm going to show you in this video. Also let me know what you think of this video format as a whole, again as I said I haven't done it in over a year, but if it's popular and you guys like it, I'll do it for more waves going forward. So now, let's get started. So we're going to be going through all of the hero minifigures first. I think I'm going to be covering two at a time so that my camera can be pretty zoomed in so you guys can get a pretty good look at them while also moving through these at a decent pace. But yeah, here are the first two. We have an all new version of Monkey Kid that is new and exclusive for this wave as well as a new version of Mo. This version of Monkey Kid comes in the Bone Demon set while this version of Mo comes in the Sandy's Power Loader mech set. Starting with Monkey Kid, most of him is the same as the Wave 1 version. He's got the same hair, face, uh, headphone attachment, and legs. However, the new part about him is this torso print right here. He's got his jacket that he always wears, but this time it's zipped up. Additionally, there's a few little features on it that I don't believe were there before. You can see there's this little peach design on his torso, and then he also has a lot of tiger print all over. You'll see more of it when we look at his back torso print and when we remove the headphones. I've been informed that that is a reference to the original Monkey King Legend, which I think is pretty cool. I like to see them call back to that in the uh, figures and the sets and whatnot. And with the headphones removed, you can get a much better look at that torso print, and I think with the headphones removed, this looks great. I don't love this figure with the headphones on, but as soon as you take them off, this figure looks incredible. I love the dark orange juice for the top of the jacket right there, as I said, the tiger print is super, super cool. Yeah, this is just a really, really great version of MK. Turning him around, there's more of that tiger print that I mentioned, as well as this character on his back. And if you're curious, there's his face print with the hair removed, and there's his alternate face. This is one of the more common Monkey Kid faces, but I think that's fine. He doesn't need to have, like, an exclusive face in every single set. And then Mo is hilarious. This is the same as his previous version, except this time he has sunglasses on, as well as a little fanny pack around his neck. That's hilarious and cute, and I would love to see more Mo in the show. This figure's just goofy and ridiculous, and he looks great, and he's, it's just so much fun. I love this guy. The next two figures are both from the Pigsy's Food Tank set. We have Pigsy himself, and then we have Mr. Tang. Pigsy is strange. He's very similar to previous versions. Same head, same hat, and these pants have come in previous versions before. And he has had, like, a vest like this where he has weapons and ingredients and whatnot. But this is not the exact same one. This is slightly different than the Wave 2 version of him. Which I think is strange that we have two very similar versions of Pigsy, but I'm not complaining, it's cool to get new variants. That version of him also just came with plain black legs, and this version has like cargo pants instead, and I think these are much cooler and fit him a lot better. And there's his back torso print, you can see he just has like the vest all the way strapped up around his back. He looks like he's getting ready for war, but also he's just got like food ingredients on his torso, I think that's hilarious and looks awesome. I love the little like garlic cloves up there, yeah, this is a, this is a pretty good figure. And then Tang, honestly, I don't love this figure, I love that it's a new version of Tang, and I love that he comes in another set, but I much prefer the other version of him. It's cool that he get a scarf, but yeah, the unprinted red legs are just not that interesting, and the torso I just feel like doesn't really fit him. I saw someone say that Pigsy actually wore this outfit in the show, not Tang, so it's a bit strange that we got it for Tang, and you can't even put it on Pigsy because it has, like, yellow printing for skin. But it's still cool to get a new Tang minifigure. I'm glad we're getting Tang minifigures because he's such a huge character in the show. It's absurd that we only had one and it was in Wave 3. So it's cool to see him become in another set. It's just not my favorite version of him. There's that torso with the scarf removed, though, if you're curious. And there's a better look at that back torso print. The next two minifigures both come in the Bone Demon set. We have Lady Bone Demon and we have a Bone Spirit. One interesting thing about these guys is they both have parts that glow in the dark. You can see the Bone Demon's face and arms as well as the Bone and Lady Bone Demon's hair all glow in the dark, which I think is super cool. It just gives these figures a little more life that they wouldn't have otherwise. But even without the glow, these two are both still great. I love the color scheme on Lady Bone Demon. The purple and the light purple and the black all mixed together. It's just such an ominous feel. She looks excellent. The, she has an awesome new hair piece too, where she's got like these spikes in her hair, the bones connected to the back. And you can see it drapes over the front and it's like sort of curled up in the back. It looks super, super cool. Her back torso print too has like a spine on it and armor. It's super intricate. It looks great and you can see like the spirit design like weaving throughout the skeleton. And then the bone spirits, they use like the newer Star Wars hood. Obviously there's that face that I told you glows in the dark. They have the 2021 Overlord tail. And their torso, while not nearly as detailed as Lady Bone Demon, has a similar effect where it's meant to be very skeletal, right? You have a rib cage, you have a spine back there, and then you have Lady Bone Demon's uh, little symbol right there. There's a look at that face print with the hood removed. It reminds me a lot of like Ninjago skeletons from 2011. Very similar design, though maybe a bit creepier here. And there's this face for Lady Bone Demon with the uh, hairpiece removed. No alternate face for the Bone Spear, but there is an alternate face for Lady Bone Demon. And you can see her alternate face is her more friendly and human look. Both really great figures, but I think Lady Bone Demon especially is probably going to be one of my favorites of the year. And then finally, here are the last two all-new minifigures for this wave. 
These both come to Pigsy's food truck set, actually all of the minifigures in that set are exclusive which is pretty impressive, but we have Pan and we have Lee. I don't believe either of these two are canon to the show unfortunately, but they're still pretty good figures. Pan looks like he was designed to be the leader of the Speedy Panda, as you can see he's got like this little panda charm necklace right here and he's got this vest with bamboo printing on it. He's also got this really sinister smile, I also love his very like round red glasses, that's just a cool color for uh, glasses that I don't know, I don't, I don't see Lego do that often as well as like the grey lenses, it's just, I don't know, it's unique, he, this character looks very unique for a Lego minifigure. Traditional like slicked back, like Bruce Wayne hair. There's the back torso print and I mentioned this in my review, but I'm not sure what this black dot's supposed to be on his back, I propose that it might be like supposed to be like a panda tail, but it doesn't really make sense because he's not in a panda outfit and he is and he doesn't have a tail, so I'm not sure what that black dot's supposed to be, but other than that, it's just like the way his vest uh, goes around his back and you can see that charm uh, necklace thing, you can see it's hanging off his back a little bit. Lee is a man in a panda suit, he's the mascot of the Speedy Pandas, and you can see his suit's like sort of draping off of him a little bit, you can see his shirt underneath, you can see the seams in the costume. I think that's really funny and it differentiates this guy from the collectible minifigures panda. Another way he's differentiated is the printing on his legs is really really bad. You could see how the white of the legs does not match the white of the torso and hips at all. That's super disappointing. I think if you have like the CMF panda you can fix that fairly easily. But it's still disappointing to see that LEGO would release a set like that. Also, if you remove the panda mask, Lee also comes with a hairpiece. This is a really cool hairpiece. It's a newer one, not super new, but I don't have a ton of it, and I like seeing it in black here because that's a really cool color for it. And then Lee has two faces, one where they're screaming and scared, and the other where they're far happier. You can also see Lee comes with roller skates on their feet, which is pretty cool. I think of all the minifigures I reviewed in this video, these two are definitely my least favorites, but they're still pretty good. I especially like the face prints on Pan here. They're probably the highlight of any of these. But yeah, there is all eight new minifigures introduced in the fourth wave of LEGO Monkey Kid. Obviously this wave is only three sets, but in a bigger wave of sets a video like this would be longer. But I don't know, I thought it'd be fun to show off each of the new minifigures and just gauge what the uh, audience was feeling about videos like this. So yeah, let me know what you thought of this video in the comments below, let me know which of these minifigures is your favorite. Mine for sure is Lady Bone Demon, though the new versions of Mo and Monkey Kid are really good as well. If you haven't seen my full reviews of all three of these upcoming sets by the way, you can go check them out. I have a playlist linked in the description below that has all of them in it. But as for this video, I think that's about all I got to say. Thanks for watching everybody, if you enjoyed, please press like, subscribe if you're new. I do LEGO videos like this every single day, so if you subscribe, you'll be the first to see them. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!